Well, good Tuesday morning, Mount Olive Church family and friends, everybody that joins us for devotions. Uh, glad to be back with you this week. Um, was gone vacating last week out of town uh, for a few days, and so um, appreciate uh, appreciate Brother Andrew filling in, helping out. I'm going to present my screen here. We'll get started. Hope you got to uh, really, really hope you got to watch <coughs> or be there Sunday morning. Uh, for Brother Tommy's message, uh, that's what we're going to continue on with our devotion here uh, today. And uh, <clears throat> hope you got to catch the pastor's uh, devotion for uh, Monday. Um, uh, Faith shouts for victory before the victory comes. I thought that was great in the story of the kite. Uh, make sure you check that out, too. Uh, appreciate our pastor and everything he does um, for us. You can see I have on the screen here the choice is yours <clears throat> and i'm going to use a scripture that brother tommy talked about uh sunday morning kind of in the in the leading up part of his message kind of starting off with here in deuteronomy uh i do want to um i do want to um, take just a minute and echo uh what our pastor said as he opened up sunday morning before tommy come to preach uh so thankful for brother tommy i know uh he has impacted a lot of lives um, over the years, a lot of lives, mine being one of them. Um, I, it's too long a story to tell, but even even a month or so, maybe uh, before I was saved uh, over 20 years ago, um, he come to the house and we sat and talked and um, he's he's just always been uh, another father figure to me. Uh, growing up <clears throat> from the time I was little and um, just has, has always had a big impact on my life too. I'm so, so thankful for him. He's so supportive. Um, he's supportive, as TJ mentioned, Sunday morning of our church and has kind of his new leadership has came in over the years and, um, <clears throat> you know, with TJ being pastor and then uh, me and Jason as assistant pastors, um, you know, he's he's always there as a helping hand he's always there with great advice uh, and it kind of i'll tell you one quick one here as i go into this so so i'm talking about and i put up here the choice is yours and it, it i kind of kind of hit a good point for me i don't know how many of you all know this but you know right out of high school i went to work um on a strip job and um went to work for brother tommy and him. he was my my superintendent i guess uh for about 15 years right at it um, but right out of high school, I know many of you all probably wouldn't believe this, but, um, you know, I, I was, I, I wasn't the best young man there was going, uh, I've done things my own way. And I got in a time where I missed a little bit of work. Um, I got myself in a little bit of trouble. Um, I told you, you probably wouldn't believe this, but I did, uh, got myself in a little bit of trouble and, you know, he come and talked to me one day <clears throat> and, uh, this in talking about him impacting my life, he come and talked to me one day uh, at work and uh, put me in the vehicle with him. And uh, we always had that laughing joke at work. If he put you in the vehicle, you were in trouble. Um, but Tommy had a pretty good heart to heart talk with me that day. Uh, and he pretty well gave me that day a choice. Uh, he said, you need to decide if this is what you want to do. Um, you know, and it was uh it was one of those come to Jesus meetings <laughs> that we get to have sometimes, right? But, uh, you know, I, I made up my mind that night. I had a choice and I had to decide that night. And so I decided that night, this was, you know, like I said, 19 year old young man, I guess at the time. And I made a decision that night that I was going to, uh, I was going to be one of the best employees that he would ever have. And I strive to do that over the next uh, 15 years that I work for him. Uh, but he gave me a choice and I'm going to go. I thought that was just a good story for you all. Um, so he talked about this and, and he led off with this. And I thought this was good. I, this is where I want to hit my devotion on today. Uh, Deuteronomy uh, chapter 30 and verse 19 and 20. Uh, but it says, I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you. And Tommy brought this out Sunday morning. I thought it was a, I thought it was great how he brought this point out. And it kind of stuck with me. Uh, I made some notes on this. and uh, but. You know, he was saying here, this is very important. Well, what I'm about to tell you is very important. You need to listen. All right. Listen, listen closely. 
this that I'm saying is, is very important. He says, I call heaven and earth as witnesses against you. I have set before you life and death, life and death, uh, blessings and cursings. And then he says this, therefore, choose life. And I highlighted that. Therefore, choose life that both you, look what that brings. Let's, let's talk about this just for a second. That if you choose life, if you choose life, you choose the blessings that God has to offer. Look at what that does. That both you and your descendants may live. Your families, they, and, and TJ talked a little bit in his devotion about this. All this time, and they've been in the desert, they've been in the wilderness, and, and all that these people have been going through. But there was this promise here, this choice, if they made this choice of what it would give. And then in verse 20, it goes on. It says, that you may love the Lord your God, that you may obey his voice, and that you may cling to him, for he is your life in the length of your days. So this is what I want to give you today. This is the thought. This is your your little uh, one sentence devotion that that I want you to think about throughout this day. What are you choosing? What are you choosing? And you know, I bring up our youth kids a lot of times. I know I do that. I hope y'all don't get tired of hearing that. I love my youth kids. I love our teenagers, and so I always fall back to them a lot. But I talk to them about their choices a lot of times and the choices they make. What about us? What about us as adults? There's so many things that life has to offer us. This world throws at us. But is that is that choosing God? Are we making those decisions based on what God wants? We have to make those decisions. And, you know, I don't want to be too long here, but, you know, we can go all the way back and, and look at Lot. Let's look at the decisions that Lot and Abraham made. And, you know, Lot looks out and he made a decision based on what was best for him. He made a decision on what he thought was right instead of seeking out what God had promised him and what he had done. So what about you? What are your choices today? Are you making those choices based on God's blessings? Because the world is full of cursings. The world is going to bring forth death. So we have to choose according to what God is offering us. So that's the only thing that I want to leave you with today. That's that's the one thought that I want to, to give to you. God has set before you life and death. God has set before you blessings and cursings. Choose life. Choose life. It will affect, and, and it's going to affect all your all your the descendants. It's going to affect your children, your grandchildren, and your friends, your loved ones, your family. It's going to affect all those around you. So how are you making your choices today? We make choices every single day. And a lot of times we base them on our own thoughts and how that'll affect us. Are we basing it off of what God, are we seeking God's direction and God's God's wisdom on the choices that we make? I hope this gives you all something today. I love you. I uh, can't wait to be back with you again in church. Enjoy the rest of the week's devotions. We'll pray for everybody else that's been doing those. I love every one of you.